Which video game consumed your entire life upon first playthrough? I was alive when Civilization I came out. That is all. Vanilla wow. I think it put in 18 hours a day minimum. Glad to not be there anymore. Yep, nearly the same story here. I started playing Vanilla about 6 months after the original release date with my brother. Ended up getting rank 14 in PvP during my junior year of high school and rated up to first few bosses in Nax before BC came out. Then played BC non-stop and kept that pace until about mid walk Around that time I didn't have the same urge to play and was more focused on university life as well as busy with my part-time job. I'm glad that this happened when it did. I've played expansions on and off again, more so after finishing college but it just doesn't hit the same way. It's funny, Sometimes I really miss the simplicity of my life back then and remember all the fun, nostalgic times I had playing that game. Then I think about it with the perspective life experience I have now and realize that at times, I was avoiding some things in life while using WoW as a coping mechanism. I wouldn't change it even knowing what I know now though, I feel like I had to go through that to change as a person in the end. I also, of course, had an absolute blast playing. Edit, thank you so much for the rewards. Glad to hear that others out there have similar feelings and it sounds like we're all in better places. I enjoyed reading about some of your memories fellas. Duck. I can still remember hitting the barons and feel shit this not the usual game, it's going to take forever to level up and it's going to be awesome I've visited a lot of places in the world when I was a kid and teenager but nothing blew me away like the realization, when I was 18, that all the guys moving are other players and we're all playing in real time and the world is huge as fuck and it's not like we're 250 players in a map, but it's the fucking world and we're an infinite number, it felt like that, simpler times. Stardew Valley I blame the save mechanic. Saving when you sleep puts you so close to the next day it's impossible not to just pop out and check the mail, see if anything needs harvested. And now it's 2pm and I better finish out the day so I don't lose progress. Huh, I never thought about it that way. Guess it's similar to how Civ is so addictive, just one more turn. There were a few just one more turn until the sun came up nights that made me realize I could not play that game if I had shit to do the next day, unless I'm playing versus local with my husband and stop when he has to go cook dinner. RuneScape God I feel old looking at your answers Ultima Online The Sims, yes, the first one. Yo the first Sims I spent way too many hours of my childhood playing. Man what a revolution that game felt like at the time. Bully, I couldn't believe a game with a kid in school with missions existed lol. Edit, thank you guys for the awards and upvotes. Didn't know or even think bully meant that much to so many people. It's nice to know Hopkins lives forever in our hearts lol. Happy holidays and new years you all. Stay safe. You all are awesome. Still holding out hope Rockstar will make a new one. In my mind Bully was the last eclectic title from the PS2 era of gaming. It had a lot going on, bikes, skateboards, go-karts, so many mini-games, it was thoroughly robust. A lot of plot, memorable characters. It is unfortunate that the IP feels abandoned at this point. Simpsons Hit and Run. I started playing and didn't realize 7 hours pass by. Man, I miss when I used to have 7 continuous hours of free time. I found a life hack if you skip sleep you have up to 8 extra hours of game time. Minecraft Minecraft on its own is a time sink. Minecraft with a good mod pack is a death sentence. Yep, currently in Midgreg Tech New Horizons and have 35 days of playtime over the last 4 months. Skyrim is an obvious answer, but it was really the first time I became truly obsessed with a game. Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. My dad bought it as my Christmas present, I was 13 years old, and started playing at 12 a.m., and give it a break at 7 a.m. of next day. Oh yes, I still have my 100% save game on my N64. Halo 2. Too many hours in the mid-2000s mastering skulls and easter eggs. And wishing you could finish the goddamn fight, but couldn't. Fallout 3, Oblivion, the first Red Dead Redemption and Bloodborne. I know you asked in the singular but all those were obsessions on first playing them. Morrowind. Original had 800 plus hours on the counter, my first first person RPG. I had a tiny CRT, but I put a heavy blanket up over the window to block out all other light and it somehow felt like I was really there.
and that's amazing since the stock graphics were far from great. But at the time, the gameplay was so good. I'm pissed they took flying, mark recall, and thrown weapons out of the Elder Scrolls. Also my game came with a printed map. Remember those? You could actually see all the Dwemer ruins and such on them, so when you wanted to do a treasure hunt all you had to do was follow the literal paper map to the nearest archaeological site for expensive gears and coins to trade to the scamp. Factorio edit, while my first awards. Thanks smile now go back to work. The factory must grow. This is not a joke. It's a warning. Seriously. When I fire it up in the afternoon, the next thing I know I hear birds chirping outside as the sun comes up. Mass Effect Trilogy, and still playing it. The Witcher. I always wished the Men in Black memory wipe was real so I could play this for the first time over and over. Great news, if you get older you won't remember shit. Baldur's Gate 2. Remember, even though your characters don't have to eat you do. Terraria. Currently at 2000 plus hours throughout the experience, but my first world alone was easily over 100. I wish I was good at Terraria. I got stuck right when I got into hard mode. I couldn't kill any of the bosses other than pre-hard mode ones. Building arenas is a huge deal. Give yourself a lot of room and a good grappling hook can make all the difference. If you're playing solo. Potions and traps are your friend. Terraria is the game that taught me about the strategic value of terraforming. Deep Rock Galactic is one of the only other games I've found that properly combines terraforming and combat, and I wish there were more. RimWorld please help. It's such a slow burn. I've yet to actually finish a game since I play on the harder settings and don't know how to deal with the end game yet. I have more than 1000 hours in and I still haven't even came close to ending the game once. Legend of Zelda, Breath of the Wild. So excited for the next one. I played this on a giant projector screen in a dark unfinished basement. It was like being transported to a different world. That sounds incredible. EverQuest. It ate my life for 7 years. Remember how bad the original UI was with the tiny amount of screen real estate in the middle for the actual game? I got lost in the dark in Black Burrow and just leveled up on the snake ledge for like a month because I couldn't get out. Going off on the boat to Fadeware and coming back to find that I got zone bugged off the boat and had drowned and my corpse was now at the bottom of the ocean, somewhere, and I couldn't swim deep enough to get to it. So many memories, I was maybe the worst ranger out there, but I had a ton of fun. Remember in the beginning how the ships only came every 30 minutes or so? You're chilling on a beach for 30 minutes fighting off crabs and snakes or whatever the hell. Remember how the game had so much downtime they added in a match 3 game based on Bejeweled? Bioshock. Many hours playing long into the night and getting completely creeped out. There's been many, but I'll throw out their Red Dead Redemption too. Holy moly, I got so immersed into that game it was insane. I drive past a paddock and see a horse and be like yeah you're all right boy. I got a friend of mine saying okay we're all right bite because Arthur said that to his horse a lot in my playthrough. I think I might been overworking my horse. Pokemon Red I was about to answer Pokemon Blue. I was so obsessed, whenever I was in a situation where I couldn't play video games, I was reading one of the three strategy guides I own for it. Ditto my crowning game achievement to this day is catching all 151 original Pokemon. Dark Souls. All three of them consumed my life. Bloodborne and Sekiro as well. It wasn't just about playing them either. Learning the lore, watching other people play. Hopefully Elden Ring has the same effect.